Josie and Kevin are each thinking of a two-digit whole number. Josie's number is double Kevin's number. One digit of Kevin's number is the sum of Josie's digits, and the other is the difference of Josie's digits. What is the sum of Kevin and Josie's numbers? Well, we can first write each person's number in base 10 form which makes it easy for us to algebraically solve this question. The capital letters represent the tens place digit, so they must be greater than zero and less than 10. If they were zero, then the numbers would not be two digits long. The lower case letters are both greater than or equal to zero and less than 10 since they are digits. Using the first statement, we get 10j plus small j equals two times 10k plus small k, which is 20k plus two times small k. Since Josie's number is double Kevin's, big K can't be the sum of both digits, as big J will always be greater than big K. Therefore, big K is the difference and small k is the sum. Substituting this into the equation tells us that Josie's number is 20 times the difference of a digits plus two times the sum of a digits. If we assume big J to be greater than small j, then the equation becomes 19 times small j equals 12 times big J. This is impossible because big J is non-zero and a digit. All positive multiples of 19 are greater than 9. This means big J is less than small j, leaving us with 4 times big J equals 3 times small j. Josie's two possible numbers are now 34 and 68. However, we can rule out 68 because 6 plus 8 can't be a single digit. So Josie's number must be 34 and Kevin's number is 17. Adding them together gives us 51, and we have just solved an Olympiad question.